Hey everyone, it's Norm from Tested here at Maker Faire 2023. I just met Barry Solomon. Barry, you guys, you and your partner have this company, Gulala Gadgets. That's right. And you have these incredibly eye-catching marble mazes. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about these designs. They're so oh, animated. I know, I know. I, I wish I could take credit for actually doing the designs, but it's my partner, Jim, who actually dreamt this up. I and mean, it started with, he, got, he was looking at 3D printing, and his observation was that everything, there was no, nothing kinetic. People were just printing hunks of plastic and he wanted to do something kinetic with movement. So he he was a kind of a Lego marble maze geek oh, back in the 70s. Yeah. And he, he just conceived of these different marble mazes. And over the years, he's, he's created a, a number of different designs uh, with different lifting mechanisms. So, uh, each, uh, this is a uh, small year, for instance, and this one has, uh, it's, it's, um, I uh, see. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it so, we call, so that's the lifting mechanism that is the turning gear and the marbles get caught up in these little holes. And, um, so he started with, with mechanisms like this and he split out to, uh, uh, moved on to different types of, uh, mechanisms as well as you can see so each of our marble machines has a maze as you can see which and the maze is uh first of all everything's 3d printed and the mazes are actually printed as a single print there's no assembling and that's something that people are very uh, amazed at uh but jim has uh he uses blender which is a kind of advanced uh, 3d program and um, he's figured out with our 3D printer how how to make the designs so that they print properly. So uh, it, it's really, he's put, I'd like to say, he's pushing the kind of the edge of the 3D printing technology. So um, here is a, another uh, very popular device. Uh, its name is Archimedes. And the whole idea is using an, the idea of the Archimedes screw. To, uh, to bring the up marbles the center, up right. the center. So, that, so that's another... Uh, and that same principle for your Christmas tree as the well. The Christmas tree, exactly. A little seasonal uh, Love aspect. It. And uh, this is a, just a bigger version of small gear. Everything it can has, scaled up yep, for yes, different bearings. Yes, exactly. And uh, this is Vitruvian, man. This is more of a demo model, but it's very eye-catching. And you know, once again, you could say it's kind of a big version of, of one of the small gear mechanisms. Well, and I'm noticing even you know the way it's designed, the angles, and yes. everything he can tweak in, yes, in his yes. model well, program. Great... You get to, like the, the the movement yes. of the the bearings can be controlled. Exactly. I love exactly. that. Doesn't exactly. always just have to spiral. You right. Can, yeah. All these variables you can tweak. Right. Right. That's a really good observation. And he he yeah exactly he he. Uh, tweaks the the level or the incline so that you have a different different uh experience um, yeah uh what else we have some uh this one mystifies a lot of people this is called sisyphus and uh, whoops <laughs> oh i see i see what's going on there so the marble um, is climbing up that hill yes yes exactly and uh how do you uh, think it, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think it's probably magnets. Probably well, very good, very good. <laughs> so exactly, exactly. Um, uh, this is another really interesting mechanism. We don't have a name for it yet, but it obviously it looks like an oil derrick. Yeah. And we're using kind of a pump mechanism, a little spring in the bottom, and the, the uh, marbles enter at the bottom. They get pushed up to the top. So oh, these right. are wow. just, up the two, up the just fun to watch. Yeah. And, you know, we have here some, uh, this is a, you know, interesting lifter mechanism, kind of almost like a hand lifting, lifting the, uh, the Well, not the, just the way they elevate it. Like even, you know, here, yes. it, it's not a traditional maze, but right, the path right. is almost randomized every time. Well, you know, Jim and I were uh, uh, we, at work about 30 years ago, we lived in Japan together. Mm. And one of our uh, favorite places to go were the, were the Pachinko Parlos. Parlos. <laughs> so this is called Pachinko, it was inspired by that. So uh, anyway, we have a wide variety of designs. We don't even have all of them here. We even have a marble clock that actually keeps good time. Uh, um, but, you know, Jim's always innovating and we, we just love coming to the shows and it's, it's sharing marble love yeah. with, with everyone.
Yeah, I mean, they're mesmerizing. They're, they're so kinetic. It, it, You're adding additional movement in the, yes. you know, rotating it. Yes, right? yes. And, and you know, one other aspect is there is the kind of light noise aspect. I mean, if you're in a quiet, you know, they're nice as a desktop thing, just to listen to the to the, the marbles make their way down the ramp. So mm. this is just, I love them. And so I see these are, uh, you sell yeah, we do sell ones? Yeah, yeah. We, we have been selling them online. We, we took, took a break for COVID, but we're, we're back and we'll be selling, selling a, a number of models online. Plus we, we, we like to bring new models and, uh, and, and, uh, highlight and show off some of the, some of the new, uh, uh, demos that we have as well. They're incredible. Um, and they are 3d printed. So I, I hear that there's even a model you can download and, and print Oh yourself. yes, yes, yes. It, it's a very, very simple handheld model. Uh, uh, it's this guy, a small version of, of that, and it's very simple. And you can download the STL and and uh, print it. Well, thank you so much, Barry. And kudos oh. to Jim for his, his amazing oh, yeah, design. Oh yes, yes, yes. Super fun. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Have a thank wonderful Maker Fair. Thank you so much for watching that video. Your support allows us to make more of this great content. If you'd like to help us on a deeper level even, head over to tested-store.com because we've got stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Our anime-inspired tested logo in Japanese. Follow the process, not the plan. It's not a process. It's not a problem to solve, it's a process to manage other aphorisms that have come from my mouth. Um, and we have just made a full set of our demerit badges in sticker form. So you can cover your toolbox with all of your screw ups and celebrate it with other makers. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.